Okay guys, so this is your first video. Um, let's get started right away. Uh, this video is about the atmosphere. Basically what you need to know about the atmosphere is the atmosphere is comprised of all the gas that surrounds the entire Earth. It's held there by gravity. <clears throat> what the atmosphere does is it protects the Earth from ultraviolet radiation and other cosmic rays. Interactions between the sun and the atmosphere are responsible for creating all weather and climate on the Earth. Getting on to the layers of the atmosphere, the atmosphere is broken up into four different layers. Those layers are the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, and the thermosphere. The troposphere is the first layer of the atmosphere, and it extends from 0 to 12 kilometers up. Its temperature decreases with its altitude, so the further up you get, the colder it's going to be. All weather, wind, storm, and storms occur within the troposphere. The second layer of the atmosphere is the stratosphere. It extends from 12 to 50 kilometers, and it has a temperature ranging from negative 45 to negative 75 degrees Celsius. The ozone layer is contained within the stratosphere, and it's responsible for absorbing cosmic rays and ultraviolet radiation. It also reflects that out into space. The third layer is the mesosphere. It goes from 50 to 80 kilometers out, and within the mesosphere, the temperature drops steadily from negative 75 degrees Celsius down to as low as negative 138 degrees Celsius. The fourth layer of the atmosphere is the thermosphere, and it goes from 80 kilometers out all the way to 480 kilometers out, so it's obviously the largest layer of the atmosphere. Uh, in the thermosphere, it's very hot, and the reason that it's very hot is uh, gas particles are very sparse there, meaning there are very few gas particles, and when cosmic rays hit those very few gas particles, what it does is it speeds those particles up significantly, which accounts for the uh, rise in temperature. <clears throat> uh, the temperature in the uh, thermosphere can get upwards of 1,000 degrees Celsius, so it also can get hotter there than anywhere else. Uh, the next thing that you need to know about the atmosphere is related to atmospheric circulations. And atmospheric circulations... Uh, they refer to air that circulates around the planet due to varying exposure to solar radiation. So it has very varied amounts of sunlight exposure, and it's responsible for these atmospheric circulations. Warm air, what happens is warm air near the equator rises. That process is called convection, the rising of warm air. And then it disperses, heading either north or south. This warm air, it cools and falls as it does so. This cooling happens at around 30 degrees north or south of the equator. Uh, so you can see that on this picture right here. It's happening right about 30 degrees north and south of the equator. The descending cool air then heads north or south from that point. Uh, similar ups... The word convections occur at 60 degrees uh, north of the or south of the equator. So the air will then head north or south from that point. Uh, so it'll either go to a pole or to the original cooling area at 30 degrees north or south of the equator. So you can see all that right there on uh, the diagram that's there. The next thing that you need to know about is surface winds. And surface wind is a type of wind, the type of wind that we feel outdoors. It's caused by uh, diffusion. So what happens is uh, pressure differences build up, and the gas in the air it uh, moves from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. Uh, wind direction it can be affected by the rotation of the Earth. Uh, the Earth rotates from east to west so like it's spinning around from in a direction from east to west and as a result air in the northern hemisphere swirls in the rightward direction 
and in the south, it swirls to the left, which uh, this difference accounts for the fact that why toilets swirl in two different directions depending on what hemisphere you're in. This effect, this uh, change in direction due to the rotation of the planet is known as the Coriolis effect. Uh, lastly, the last thing that you need to know about the atmosphere is that the atmosphere has three prevailing winds. And at the poles, they tend to blow to the east and towards the equator. So they're heading, uh, if you're in the north pole, it's heading south. If you're in the south pole, it's heading north. And they both head to uh, the east. Those are known as polar easterlies. In the mid-latitudes, uh, they tend to blow to the west and towards the poles. So that would be in the opposite direction uh, from the polar easterlies. These are known as the westerlies. And the last one is known as trade winds. And trade winds blow towards the east and towards the equator. And they happen right near the equator. So uh, what happens is those trade winds will blow eastward and towards the equator. And they actually converge. Uh, that's everything that you need to know about the atmosphere. I'm going to try to wrap this up in a rather quick video from now on. Uh, so they'll be about this length. Uh, guys, this is supposed to be something that helps you and guides you along with the reading, but don't think that you can do this instead of doing the reading. The reading is still really important. Um, I recommend that you do the reading, do the Cornell notes, and uh, use the lecture as something that can help you out in addition to those things. So keep it up. Hopefully this helps. We'll see. Take it easy.